Everybody's been commenting, wondering how much my sneaker collection's actually worth, and the truth is, it's worth. Gotta love Mondays. So guys, I was reading some YouTube comments and I got an idea. Actually, hold that thought. Let me go shower real quick. So guys, I was reading the comments on the sneaker collection video I did on Kais' channel titled Denver's Biggest Hype Beast, One Million Dollar Sneaker Collection. And everybody's freaking out in the comments. This is not a million dollars. <laughs> Definitely not worth a milli fam. Even if you're working 60 plus hours a week, that doesn't get you five pairs of Red Octobers. You're right, it gets you seven. To be honest with you guys, I agree with you 100% that my sneaker collection is nowhere near a million dollars. It's actually closer to five to 10 million, I'd say. No, I'm just playing with you guys. Actually, in the past, I've never really added up my sneakers before. It never really mattered to me what they're worth, but kind of reading the comments and stuff like that, I thought it would be interesting to go through my shoes, kind of talk to you guys about them a little bit and maybe add up the prices and kind of see what it's worth. I'm guessing it's more 100 to 200,000, but like I said, none of that really matters to me. I just thought this would be an interesting video for you guys to check out. Just a little disclaimer before we get into the shoes. Just because a shoe is worth X amount of dollars doesn't mean that's how much I paid for it. In some cases, I actually paid more sadly than what the shoe is worth, and in some cases, I paid way less. You guys gotta remember that shoes fluctuate in price all the time. You can get them for retail and different things like that. So just a little disclaimer before we jump into it. So guys, without further ado, it's finally time to dive into my collection and see what it's really worth. sure how I should go about this with you guys. I'm thinking about pulling out just my more expensive sneakers and kind of talking about them a little bit and going over the prices. For those of you guys wondering where I'm getting the prices from, I'll be using the StockX app. So without further ado, right here guys, we have the Nike Air Yeezy 2 Red October. This is my favorite sneaker in my entire collection, as you guys could probably tell since I have seven of them. This shoe right here is going for 6,000, 6,450 for a size 12. Don't roast me in the comments for that. We're not professional here. I don't have a teleprompter or anything. So every now and then I'll be checking my phone. But for this, 6,450, I have seven pairs. So I'll let you guys do the math on that. Right here, as you guys can see, we have the Jordan 1 Off-White. When I checked the price on this one, I was actually shocked. It's $2,998. I did pay resale for this two years ago whenever these things dropped. I only paid $1,300 only. That's still a lot. But honestly, I can't believe these are going for about $3,000 now. That's absolutely crazy. But this shoe is definitely really sick. Right here, we have the Sean Witherspoon. Air Maxes, super sick colorway, definitely a really dope sneaker. These are going for about $1,100 in my size. Down here, we have a little bit of an older shoe, some of you guys may not see too often. We have the Jordan 1 Fragment, got the little Fragment logo right here. These are a super high quality shoe. These have definitely jumped up a lot in value recently. Right here, we have the Nike Air Mag. Goes without saying, this is by far the most I've ever personally paid for a shoe in my collection. I personally paid $7,000 for this shoe. On StockX, it's currently going for about $10,900 in my size. You guys, I would never throw these. These are my baby. Shout out to my stupid sister for helping me catch them. Coming up next. We have a super dope shoe to me. This shoe really pops off. You got the yellow human race right here. This shoe is really surprising me with the price it's at right now. In my size, 11 and a half in these. These are actually selling for $4,000 right now on StockX. I cannot believe that price. I paid way cheaper than this. So definitely a huge come up for me. We have 
the Turtle Doves, one of the best Adidas Yeezys ever. This is currently going for about 1100 in my size. Sticking with the Adidas Yeezy thing, we have the Pirate Blacks right here. Definitely a super sick shoe that's always in my rotation. Really easy to wear with everything, so definitely a must have in my collection. Now we're gonna get into a little bit harder shoes to do the value on. To me, these shoes are priceless. I never thought I would have this shoe in my collection. For those of you that don't know, this is the Louis Vuitton Jasper. Super rare shoe, it's really, really dope to me. Crazy quality, the Louis Vuitton quality. Just really nice shoe. It's really hard to put a price on this. There's only one pair on StockX right now and they're actually asking like 8,000, which I don't think is too accurate. I've seen, I don't think it's too accurate. I've seen this shoe go for a bunch of different prices. So this one is kind of hard to put a price on. While we're on the topic of hard prices, Right here, we have the LeBron 4 Free Pebble. I currently have two pairs. One is dead stock and the other I wear. I'm gonna keep this one dead stock. It's a super rare shoe. You definitely don't see too many people with it. The rumors with this shoe is it was only made for LeBron's friends and family. I've heard people say there's only less than 50 pairs in existence. So I'm super blessed to be able to have two pairs. This is another shoe you can't really put a price on. I've seen some people sell it for 12,000 or 5,000. So don't really know how much this goes for, but I definitely got a good deal on both of my pairs. Right here we have both colorways of the Kaj Jordan 4. Shout out to my girlfriend for the black pair. She actually got me this as a gift. So shout out to you. I love you, baby. And then we got the gray pair right here. Both super dope, high quality Jordans. And here's the prices for each color right here. This shoe goes for $378 now. I personally paid $1.3,000 for these shoes back in the day when there was less than 6,000 pairs. They were super rare. I was one of the only people that I knew that had them. And I actually paid a good price from back then. They went for like 3,000 back then. So it was a really good deal. And now with all the restocks they've done, they've restocked like four different times. They're only worth around $300. So this is a huge L for me. Now I have two pairs. Definitely still my favorite Easy V2 though. Right here we have the KD4 Nerf. This goes for about $17.50 on StockX right now. Like I said, a little bit older of a shoe that some of you guys may not be accustomed to seeing, so I thought I'd pull that out for you guys. Since most of us on my channel, myself included, I'll admit it, are hype beasts, I'll pull out some more hype stuff for you guys. We have the original Off-White Vapor Max for you right there. We got the only Vans in my collection, the Fear of God Red colorway. Super dope shoe to me. Not so comfortable, but I definitely love the way these look. Another really high quality Jordan that you guys may not be accustomed to seeing all the time. The Jordan 2 Just Dawn in the blue colorway. I really love that little red accent on the bottom. Really makes the shoe pop. Right here we have the Yeezy 2 Solar. These go for about $4,200 right now. Definitely a super dope and iconic shoe for Kanye West with that pink inside and the green glow sole bottom. We got the black off-white Presto right here. This is going for about $830 in my size. So as you guys can see here, not all of my sneakers behind me are worth thousands of dollars. This shoe actually is only worth about $400. I'm guessing most of you guys don't even know what this is. This is actually the Spider-Man foam posit. I've been meaning to actually replace this. I've got a really sick pair of Yeezy Customs in that I want to put on the wall instead of this one. So I think I'm gonna get these out of here. All right guys, that wraps it up for this video. So without spending all day going through the prices of every single sneaker, I just figured we would go over the big ones and kind of take a rough estimate. My personal guess is anywhere from like $100,000 to $200,000, but I'm interested to see what you guys think after taking a little more detailed look into my sneakers, what you think they're worth. So go ahead and comment down below what you guys think the value of my sneaker collection is actually worth. I appreciate you guys so much for tuning in today. Make sure you subscribe down below. We post new super dope videos every single Tuesday. So that wraps it up for this video. I'll see you guys next week.